Good morning, Molly. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Tiff. I love it when you wear a bun. You look adorable today. <laughs> you know, I, that's because I texted you earlier. I was like, hair snafu, hair snafu. It's going in a bun. <laughs> I think it looks fantastic. I love it. Oh, uh, thank you. But you know, anybody yep. who puts their hairs up, hair up knows that usually that's for a reason. So <laughs> well, and um, anybody who's on TV knows that doing your hair every day is one of the hardest parts of the job. That is that <laughs> is a, a, a task for sure. Um, yeah. I wanted to share with you one of the healthiest snacks because I think here's I, I don't think this is going to shock you, but I do think it's a good reminder. And a lot of us are kind of looking for healthier things when we're around home these days that still feel comforting. Do you want to take a guess? I hope it's not celery. <laughs> no, it's definitely saltier than that. <laughs> oh, um, so pickles? No, I thought you were going to go with like healthy nuts or something, but it's actually popcorn. So they say oh. one of the uh, popcorn is one of the healthiest snacks. It builds bones, muscle, tissue, aids digestion, and it's good for your teeth. I like that. Uh, see, I always thought popcorn was bad for your teeth because if you get kernels in there, it can be serious. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it helps you kind of chomp them up, like keep them clean. You know, like how they give dog treats yeah. and cat treats to do it. Maybe that's what popcorn yeah. does for us. I don't know. I'm just yeah. speculating. Interesting. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is interesting. Um, they're, they're talking about healthy treats. So, you know, a lot of people want to do something for their neighbors or people that they can't see right now. So they're talking about leaving treats on a porch. Would you feel safe to exchange baked goods this year? Um, yes, especially because I loved baked goods. Um, but it's an interesting question. My, my brother is in the, the food service business. He's a chemist and a, a salesperson. And his personal opinion is that COVID, for example, is not... Um, transmitted um, for, for a large part with the handling of food or packages or things like that. Well, they actually confirm that. So that's one of the things that this is talking about. They're saying a lot of people are wondering, is it safe to share um, holiday baking with friends and family this year? And they say the good news is that evidence shows that the virus um, that causes COVID-19 is not easily transferred or spread through food. So they said the biggest thing is, um, it, you know, you got to be sanitary in how you leave it, right, in, in the place that you're cooking it as well. So if you're going to do that, make sure that the person knows that you're going to be dropping off and is willing to accept it. And then you want to leave it outside, leave the space so that they can pick it up. And you also want to make sure um, that you put it in sanitary conditions. So they say if anybody is really concerned, just say no this year and don't even do it. But for the rest of you who are, you know, feeling comfortable with it, they say it's absolutely fine. And you and I kind of did a little exchange the other day. Yeah, we did a little lunch. You brought it to my door, which was <laughs> so you nice are. to you. Oh, that's hilarious. Did you even know I took a picture of you? No. Okay, oh I God. was sitting in my car. There you are. She's holding that white in the in the in the door is the bag <laughs> that I dropped off for you. I sat in my car and then Molly and I called each other and ate apart. She in her door with a chair and me in my car so we could look at each other and talk and still have lunch together. That's hilarious. <laughs> I love that you did that picture. There's you with your soup from Corner Bakery because it's right, it's very close to the station. But that's actually how we did Thanksgiving this year with my family. Yeah. So my mom made the turkey and the stuffing. My brother did his green bean casserole and, and, and broccoli corn and mashed potatoes. I did my sweet potatoes and desserts. And then we d delivered with masks on. My parents didn't really even get out of the car. But it is a way to to share, you know, because that's the, the, the burden of the holidays yeah. to think about making every dish, you know. Right. Um, so I absolutely love that. Um, I wanted to say because, you know, our friend Doc Dentis does this Christmas with the vets every year and he puts together an incredible feast, um, gifts, music. I mean, everything has changed this year. He's still doing it, but everything has to be virtual. They can't have performers at the VA hospital. But he, he put out a call for hats. He wanted um, baseball caps to put in the, the he calls them ditty bags, yeah. but the, the goodie bags for veterans. And he called, he made a call for 300. And I wanted to show you this hat. Um, so how cool is this, Tiff? This is exactly it. what he asked for. He wanted a, a veteran's hat with an American flag. It doesn't have any logo or anything on it. Um, but it was donated by um, Prep Star Midwest and Aww. Dunn Sporting Goods. They had 300 of these hats made, which is so cool. And I know Doc is super excited about it, but you can also get in touch with him to donate to, to that. Yeah, so I just he, wanted he to really mention is that. just down to treats at this point. So he, he doesn't have yeah. a lot left, um, but he does need some help with that. So.
Yeah. That's pretty yeah. cool. I love that. Well, yeah. that's our sound off for today. Go to our Facebook page if you're feeling in the good mood like we are today. Um, are you friends with your neighbors? We want to know that. Let us know. Give us a little uh, story about you and your neighbors. I'd love to hear it today. Yeah, I call my neighbor my Fraber. Her name is Nicole. I'm going to show her picture a little bit later because I thought I came up with that word. And then it's listed in the Urban Dictionary. So we'll talk about that a little bit later in the show. Is your friend your neighbor, your Fraber? Yep, it's Cute. my Fraber.